Hello everyone, my name is Missy Maddie and today I'm going to show you how to build this super cute sort of fairy core inspired house that you see behind me here. Anyway, like and subscribe and enjoy the video. So, as we enter the, um, the build, we go straight into our living room kitchen um, dining area. Uh, this is what it looks like here. We've got my cat Serena sitting at the table. Um, if we go through to here, we will find our little mini kitchen. I really like this room. I like all the windows and it's just really calm and peaceful to me. Um, I also have my big warm fireplace um, in the corner here. I was going to build that into the tower, but I just like it as you walk in the door. It's the first thing you see. Um, there's Serena. Say hello. <laughs> um, and then I have my food, my wee cake and a fish. Um, and this here is the little living room area I've got. Again, super cute. Um, I've just used this bookshelf as a sort of coffee table type arrangement. Um, so yeah, that's the entire first floor. Um, I'll then take you guys up this ladder here um, to get to the second floor and my sort of bedroom area. So again, we've got this um, sort of reading nook living space, um, lots of storage and I'll give you an overview of the actual reading part. So it looks like this, just really simple but really pretty, got a nice wee sort of chandelier thing going on, um, lots of storage as well. Um, and out through this door is actually my little balcony. Um, and I've put some crops there, um, just that would be a cute idea, a wee rooftop garden kind of thing. Um, yeah, so, nice wee view. Not really, it's a bit boring. <laughs> so, we'll go back in here, and this time I'm going to go up to the, um, library enchanting room part. So, um, I'm gonna go up here, open the trap door. And this is super small, um, I'm not even sure if I can do it justice to show you, but I've got some chests up there, um, lots of cobwebs, lots of spiders hanging out in here, um, and then of course I've got my enchanting table in the centre, um, brewing sand and a little cauldron with water. Um, so it is really small, but um, great utility I think is what I'm trying to say. Um, and the ladder runs all the way down to the ground floor where we go back to our main living space. Okie dokie, so let's just get straight into things. Firstly, I just want to say sorry about the audio quality. I actually ended up losing my proper, like my normal microphone, so I'm just using the little microphone on my headphones so sorry about that. Um, in terms of materials we're going to start off by grabbing some mangrove planks. Um, you could use crimson planks for this as well it would look really cute otherwise just any planks. Um, we're going to use oak planks for our accent wood and what else will we need for now? So maybe some cobblestone just like so and I'm going to grab my wooden axe for world edit purposes and let's go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a 9x9 nine nine box. So we're going to place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and this is out of the mangrove planks by the way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And so that should be giving you a sort of right angle. I think I know this, but I just don't. I just never paid attention in school, to be honest, with like maths, numbers related things. I don't like them, so yeah. 
Um, and now to build in the height we are going to go up 11 blocks high. So we're going to include this one that I've put here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then we're just going to fill in those walls. It is really quick um, to do, but just because I'm a wee bit lazy, I'm going to go in on World Edit. So I've got my 9x9 and 11 block high box in, just like so. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little entranceway. And so we are going to make a 5x3 rectangle at the front. The only thing I need to say is that when I say 5x3, we're going to include um, the the wall that you see here into that equation so um, hopefully this makes sense we'll be counting out one two rather than one two three because we're including this wall in the count so hopefully that makes sense but you should be able to see what I'm doing anyway so we're going to go one two out from the wall and then one two three I just did it wrong and then one, two, three, four, five. And so you should end up getting like this little, I don't know how you'd explain it, but hopefully you can see what I mean. Um, and then we're going to bring this up to be five blocks high. So one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to sort of smash in the corners like this just to bevel it off. Don't do that on the main rectangle though. We're just going to do that on the little bits that we um, add on. Yeah. So we're then going to build in our little kitchen that sort of sticks out from our main box. Um, we're going to build another rectangle and it is going to be 7 by 5. So, to go on with our kitchen, we're going to count one block in from this edge and we're going to go one, two, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. So, um, I'm then going to bring this up by five blocks high as well. So one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, and just fill in that shape. shaders off because they're getting in the way. Um, and for those curious I am using Mizuno 16 craft it's the same texture pack that I use in every single video that I make. Um, the next thing I'm going to go in and do is my um, floor boards. So um, because we've made our um, main box 11 blocks high we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, and on the sixth block up, one, two, three, four, five. yep, no, that's right. We are going to place um, a wooden oak plank like this, and that's where um, our floor, our second floor, is going to go. And that means it's just evenly split. There's going to be another five blocks above. Like that, and then 
if we've done it right, the floor on the main part of the build should line up with um, this balcony part that I'm building here. We're just going to place a sort of cap, a wooden oak plank cap on the top like this. Sort of like a lid if you like. It looks really ugly at the moment but we will fix it. So the next thing we're just going to cut in really quick is the big tower, the library tower at the back. And the way we're going to do this is a little different. We're going to go to the corner that we're adding it in and we're going to count one, two, three, four, just like that. Then we're going to go into the internal part of the build and find that um, in same internal corner. So count four, one, two, three, four, just like that. I'm just gonna put a wee hole in here for ECX, please. And then all you need to do is run your cobblestone or whatever stone you're using to form a box out of those diagonal paths. I think this is the easiest way. I get really confused when I'm making towers and I end up putting them in the wrong um, spot, but this way I don't really have any problems. So we should now have a nice square sort of evenly cutting into the build. Get rid of these. And we are going to bring this um, square up so that it is 21 blocks high. And so that has given me a nice thick box just like that but we're wanting to make a tower not like a squared off like box I guess so the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna cut into the four corners of the build well three corners um, because we only need to do the ones that are actually exposed and we're going to um, cut it in so that how do I explain this hopefully you can see what I mean but um when you look at it it's going to be we're cutting two each way into the side so we're cutting the corner block in plus one hopefully that makes sense I'm really sorry if it doesn't but essentially just beveling off that corner to make it into a cylinder rather than um a square and then you're going to fill in here with cobblestone um, and we're going to do the same on this exposed part because there will be a little portion of the tower that sticks out from the roof And it should look something like this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the roof on the tower. If you've watched any of my videos previously, you'll know that I hate doing roofs so much. It's like my least favorite part of any build. So we're just gonna go in and get that all over and done with. Fortunately, the, the roofs on this build are actually pretty quick and easy because the shapes are small but tall. So, um, yeah, that's good, at least. Um, actually, I want to grab that cobblestone in case I accidentally smash anything I shouldn't. Okay, so, um, for this one we're going to do just a standard circular sort of turret roof. When we get to these corners, we're going to place the stairs so that they're facing towards either the front of the build or the back but never to the side, so just like that. And then when we get to this part of the side, we can face it to the side, but just for these sort of awkward bits here, they always go to the front or back. Hopefully that makes sense, but yeah. It's not hugely important if, if not, so. And the pattern that we're doing for, for um, for the roof here is we're going to do one steer, one full block, one steer, one full block. So basically just like this. And 
then that is the exact same pattern that we're going to follow the entire way up. I will show you how to do the whole thing because there are some little bits that can get a bit gnarly, gnarly, but like messy. <laughs> um, and so I'm just going to help out with that. The full blocks that I'm adding in here aren't necessary um, because we're going to be placing full blocks on top of them anyway. Um, I'm just doing it so it looks neat on the inside, so don't feel like you have to. So we've got it looking like this so far. Um, we've done a row of full blocks. We're going in with our steers. Blocks. Hopefully, it'll be making sense now. Um, now that we've reached this part of the build, you'll, it'll be making another square uh, shape like that. We don't want that, so we're going to cut out the corners here, just like that, so that it's more of a like. I have no idea how to explain that shape, sorry guys, but you, you can see what I mean there. And instead, we're going to place a steer in the corners just to bevel it off more. And again, those steers are going to face towards the back and the front. I really hope I'm not making this too hard um, to explain, but um, yeah. When you're actually building it, it's a way easier to understand. And same thing again, we're going to get a square shape at the top here. We don't want to make a square. Sometimes it takes a little second for the actual blocks to load. There we go. So what I was trying to say is again we've got this square here. So we're going to smash out our corners, replace the... Um, get some oak slabs I think, sorry about this, um, and use slabs instead in those corners to cover them up and then we're going to go in with some oak stairs on top in a sort of flower pattern like this and then I'm going to take some oak planks, put one on top I'm going to make this pointy, so I'm going to grab some fences and put that up by one, two, three. Just like that. Um, once you've done that, it looks a little awkward here, but once we fly down it'll look really good. Um, then you're going to want to add a, like a border or a perimeter of um, oak fences that just wraps around the underneath of the entire roof just so it looks as if it's being supported by this fencing and it's not just hovering as much and the fencing will jut out slightly from the actual turret roof so it should look something like that um, now for the main build here we're going to start by finding our center point, which will be one, two, three, four blocks in from the sides. Um, and I just like to make a big tall pillar like that, just to help me see what I'm doing. And the pattern that we're going to use is um, just a steer on top of each other with, so like just a really basic roof with the steers stacking like so and you're going to run the stairs out so that they jut out by one from the wall. Oh. 
and the reason I put this pillar in is so that I know where to stop with the stairs um, before I need to start doing the other side so that they, they meet perfectly in the middle. And see, once you reach this pillar, that's when you know you can stop and you can move on to the other side of the build. And again, we're just stacking stairs on top of stairs, um, jutting out from the side of the wall by one. Oh, sorry about those bats. I, I really don't know where they are, actually. They're probably in the tower, but um, it's probably just going to be quicker if I leave them for now. Hopefully it's not so annoying. And so once we've got that side cut in, we can get rid of this now. We don't need it anymore. We can put an upside down stair like that. And then we're going to get oak planks full sized and run them along the top like so. And it will look something like this. We're then going to get our oak stairs again and insert an upside down stair um, underneath the um, upright stairs that we've added just on that part that jumps out no need to do it anywhere else and this is just going to thicken the look of the roof a little um, which looks better in my opinion um, fly to the back and do the same thing Oops. just like so we can go ahead and fill in this little gap that we've got here and do the same at the front and when you're building this roof just work around the tower block um, don't smash into it at all um, so there's that um, and now I'm going to do the same thing on this little doorway part here um, we're going to go upwards only this time we're going to um, sort of work it into this beveled part a wee bit and then go in with our full block something like that and then we're going to do our upside down stairs trick one last time and that is the roof part done for there. We'll go in and add an upside down stair perimeter. Oh my apologies so we're going to actually smash in the corners of this kitchen um, outsert is that a word? The bit of the kitchen that sticks out? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, and we're going to Sorry, I broke my own rule. Um, make sure the corner stairs face towards either the back or the front of the build. We're then going to get some oak fence. Make a little balcony out of that. And there we go. All of our rooms are done. This is coming together really quickly, so that's cool. I'm now going to go in with my detailing on the tower. So I'm going to count up by five. One, two, three, four, five. And place a um, block of oak planks on the sixth block. And that should line up with the floor, the internal floor as well. And then I'm basically just going to wrap a perimeter of oak around the tower 
filling in those corners as I go. Oops. Just like that. Then going to place um, another perimeter of fencing, oak fencing directly underneath that. Um, and this will jut out from the wood um, when it gets to the corners like that. So wrapping the fence in a way that all of the corners touch rather than this, it's going to look like this. And so now we're going to do the next part of the detailing. Um, we're going to count up five blocks from this wooden plank here. So one, two, three, four, five. And then again on the sixth block we're going to place our um, wood. And we're going to run that in so it connects to the roofing. Um, just the same as we did before, only this time it will cut into one side of the roof. And again, we do our oak fence. We're then going to get some stone walls. I'm going to use stone bricks rather than cobblestone just so it has a little extra layer of detail. And I'm going to run it up like this so that it is one block away from the front of the cylinder, like so. And we're going to smash the fence that we've got in there. And we're going to count down one, two, three. And that is where we're going to get some lanterns. So, a lantern there, and place it just like that. And that's the detailing that we're going to do on all of the sides. When you get to these sides where the um, framing or the perimeters are shorter, you're just going to place um, it. So instead of putting three fences, you're just going to place one. So it'll look just like that. Do the same one here. when you go to do your detailing just follow the same thing again um, and just break into what you need to for it to work just like that there's that um, so what I'm going to do is do the windows one two three four just like that we'll cut in four in the center and two on the side to match. So I'm then going to get some dirt and run that um, across the windows like so. I'm going to get some oak fence I think. I think I used stairs in the um, tour video but don't do that. add some upside down stairs on the side there and then we're going to get some trapdoors. Normally I use spruce trapdoors but today I'm actually going to use oak ones. Since I don't want this build to get too mismatched for lack of a better word. So it's going to look like this um, and then you can use whatever flowers you like. My favourite combination is the ox eye daisy uh, a dandelion what else do I like peonies and roses 
and I sort of just do them randomly. Tall ones generally in the middle. Short ones at the side, but you don't want to make it look too oh, sorry, it's like structured. So I'm happy with that. We've got a little flower box in. Um, I'm going to continue on with the windows, so we'll fly down to the door here, punch a hole in there, grab some chains and some glass panes. Um, I'm going to be using uh, these light blue stained glass panes, gives a really nice lead like cottage sort of look like that, but um, if you're playing in regular Minecraft without a texture pack, I'd recommend just using um, normal window, like glass window panes, um, just because coloured ones probably don't look the best with the manthrow. I hope that makes sense, but yeah, it's not a big deal, you can really do whatever you like at this point as a small decorative. Oh, why did So we've got the windows in there, grab a door as well, I'm going to take an oak door and I'm going to place it in from, oops, from the inside so that when you're looking at it from the outside it's sort of indented like so. And then I'm going to grab some figs and run that up along just like that, I don't know why. It's Bit of extra detail I suppose. Um, so just like that um, and then I'm going to grab some chains and I'm going to hang down one and two like that I think. And so they're, they're not symmetrical and I think that looks cute but you can do it symmetrically if you prefer. Um, so go in with some more windows. And you can place them anywhere you like. The windows in this build aren't really important. In most of my other builds they are, but not this one. The next thing that I'm going to show you is how to make the fairy swirl. So. This is what our roof looks like without the swirl and I'm going to show you how you build it in. Um, so we're going to find this full block that we've placed on top of the roof. I'm going to count up by one and on that I'm going to place upright oak stairs. On the back of those upright oak stairs I'm going to place some upside down stairs. On top of those, I'm going to place some upright stairs like that. I'm going to take a full block of oak planks and place it on the back of those stairs. Sorry, it's, it's taking a wee while to load them in for some reason. It's when I get like up to a certain height, it just takes ages to load in. I don't know why. There. So, um, a full block of planks on the back of that stair. On the front of that block we're going to place some upright stairs. We're going to place a full block underneath those and an upside down um, block of stairs so that the back is facing into the build. And then lastly we're going to place some upside down stairs in the middle there and it will look just like that. Um, the last step that we're going to do in the entire build is grab our chain and count one, two, three, we'll go four down like that and add a lantern. And there we have it. That is the fairy build done. Okay everyone, look, thank you so much for watching, um, I really enjoyed this build, uh, it was loosely based on my first 
Minecraft video ever, which was really bad. So if you haven't seen that, don't, don't worry, don't, don't watch it. But anyway, thank you so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed the build. Let me know if you've made it yourself and what changes you've made. I always love hearing about that. Um, but anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and let you guys go. But um, don't forget to like and subscribe and have an awesome day.